speed control and production of a three phase BLDC motor with a Hall effect sensor using a fuzzy logic controller. That is, uh, we are going to control the speed of a BLDC motor using a Hall effect sensor and also with the fuzzy logic controller. So, you can see the difference between existing and proposed system. When you are going for an existing system, you can see that it is having a PID controller and uh, in this PID controller, there will be a poor response. But uh, when we are going for a proposed system, we are using a fuzzy logic controller, which is a good uh, error response than the PID controller. And also we are having a hysteres current control method. So in that method, you, you will have a good uh, speed regulation. And uh, when we are comparing to an existing system, when we are varying the load, the speed also changes. Uh, but in proposed system, even the load uh, is varied, the speed will be constant and also we are not uh, having any external speed sensor and uh, the excellent but also it is acts a uh, um, excellent speed control. When we are uh, going for existing system, when a fault occur, there will be an interrupt. But in proposed system, even the fault occur, there is no interrupt occurred. And uh, when we are going for an existing system, the fault detection and tolerant is not implemented. But when we are going for a proposed system, there will be a uh, fault detection and tolerant method which is implemented. And uh, here we are having a proposed system block diagram. In this proposed system block diagram, we have a power supply that is connected to a rectifier. Through that, it is connected to a uh, six, six switch. Um, six switches and that through that it is connected to a BLDC motor and uh, inside that BLDC motor we are having a Hall effect sensor and uh, through that uh, Hall effect sensor uh, it is connected to a microcontroller here we are having a RPS uh, that is a regulator power supply which will provide a 5 plus 5 volt to the microcontroller and uh, minus 12 volt and minus uh, plus 12 volt to the gate driver here uh, we are having a reference speed that is a uh, constant speed uh, which is given by us and given as a uh, input by us and uh, here we are having a uh, uh, existing simulation input voltage you can see that the input voltage is 24 volt here uh, you can see the existing system state or current so current for uh, state or current for a b c phases and uh, here also you can see that uh, back emf for a b c and here you can see the Hall effect sensor for A, B, C that is A phase, C, B phase and C phase. Here you can see that the rotor angle is increasing uh, and uh, because of the because of the time. And uh, you can see that when we are uh, giving more loads there is a there is not a constant uh, electromagnetic torque here. You can see that uh, when the load is varied the speed of the BLDC motor comes down and uh, when it is here uh, the BLDC motor speed is comes down and uh, because of uh, only because of the uh, increasing of load when decreasing of load it is automatically uh, uh, increasing so uh, you can see from this uh, graph that uh, when you are increasing the load the speed of the BLDC motor is affected here we are having a proposed uh, simulation diagram so in that you can see that the state or current uh, simulation proposed and also this is the uh, back EMF for A, B, C and also Hall effect sensor for A, B, C phases and also here you can see that the electromagnetic torque is not at all uh, varied it is constant and also here you can see that even we are increasing the speed so increasing the load you can see that the speed is at a constant rate when it is switched on it is on uh, zero and it is on increasing uh, the speed of the rotor it is uh, about uh, 1400 and uh, uh, when it reaches 1450 something after that uh, we are giving the uh, increasing the load even after increasing the load the speed of the BLDC motor is constant you can see this right line because it is constant when we are increasing the speed you can see that uh, here you are having a fuzzy logic input so i have told that we are using fuzzy logic controllers so we are giving a fuzzy logic as a input and uh, this is a fuzzy logic output and you can see that uh, fuzzy logic rules which are implemented in the matlab
This is a BLDC motor speed control using a Hall effect sensor. Here we are having a transformer and through this transformer it is connected to a rectifier and uh, through this rectifier unit uh, it is connected to a 6 pulse uh, switches. Through the 6 pulse switches is directly connected to BLDC motor. In this BLDC motor we are, we are having a Hall effect sensor. Through that Hall effect sensor uh, you can sense the position of the coil and uh, through the position of the uh, magnet, position of the magnet, through position of the magnet uh, the speed of the motor is controlled and uh, here we are having a RPS unit. This RPS 6 RPS unit is connected to the gate driver. Uh, the RPS unit is used to give a power supply to the gate driver. Uh, here we are having a transformer and this transformer is connected to this rectifier unit. Through this rectifier unit it is connected to a microcontroller. Here also we are having a one microcontroller and uh, this microcontroller uh, is connected to this Hall effect sensor. This, this is Hall effect sensor input and input uh, input of the Hall effect sensor and output of the Hall effect sensor. And this Hall effect sensor is connected to this microcontroller because uh, this microcontroller uh, will sense the uh, position of the magnet and uh, also it will give the sequence of the switching pulse. And here we are having a one microcontroller. This microcontroller uh, get the input from the reference value. Here we are giving the reference value. And this is a this is like a pop or a, it is also like a switch. Through this we can give a reference voltage, variable reference voltage. And uh, through that uh, reference voltage uh, we can uh, control the speed of the motor. Here we are having a, a rotating uh, rotating thing uh, that is uh, that is to give the uh, load to the motor going to do the demo of the project now first we are going to turn on the control unit after turning on the control unit you can see that when you are rotating the motor you can see that inside that a hall effect sensor will be there through that sensor you can see this blink in how we have to give a 5 volt supply for the hall effect sensor through the position of the magnet inside the motor, you can see the Hall effect sensor will sense the pulse and it will throw through throw to the microcontroller. Through that, the indication will be uh, displayed here. Then now we are going to turn on the power supply unit. Initially, the reference uh, should be in zero. So when initially the reference is 0, so when you are seeing for current, it is 1 amp current. The 1 amp current is because of some leakage in the current and you can see the speed of the motor. Then when we are giving, when we are giving the reference value, speed of the motor is increased now i am going to give the load before that the it is in low load condition now i am going to give load now it is in initial condition you can see that the speed is 202 so the current amp is 1 amp 0 0.1 amp so we are going to give a reference value so when you are increasing the reference value, the speed is increased. And the current is 0 0.5 amp. And here the speed also increased. The speed is increased to 7,007. Uh, 780 nearly 1700 the current is 6, 0.6 amp without load now we are going to apply the load
when we are applying the load the current is 1.3 amp we are uh, giving more load increasing the load so you can see that 2.7 amp so when you are go giving uh, increasing load when you are increasing the load the current also increases we are giving load nearly to 4.2 amp 4.8 amp when a load given nearly it is uh, it is taking nearly 4.6 amp now when we are releasing the current automatically decreases when we are releasing the load the current starts decreases and it is i am have uh, it is in no load condition so it is nearly 0.6 amp so it is in 0.6 amp because we are giving the reference value so it is in 0.6 amp depending upon the speed when when the speed when the reference value also decreased it uh, it will become 0.1 amp now we can see in cro we have we have taken for uh, 4.5 amps that is 4.5 amps uh, if you are giving a load it can withstand up to 4.5 amp and uh, voltage is constant even when you are going for maximum load the current is maintained uh, no fluctuation is uh, there in the current you can see that no fluctuation in the current when we are giving load it's uh, it is in current is increasing so current is increasing and now there is no i have stopped for giving load so the current is not fluctuated it is in nearly constant value thank you now we can see the pulse in cro here uh, in each division it is considered as a 5 volt so uh, we have we have set 5 volt for each division uh, we have to see for three phase in three phase i have uh, detected for two phases i have uh, shown the difference between two phases that is uh, r y b i am but i have given for uh, y n b here we can see that uh, when I, uh, here here uh, yellow phase is uh, turn on and here b is turn off you can see the difference between two phases